a bigger place. No, I mean, get bigger places. I need more money. So, that's where this game comes into play. Not that it helps me with money. No, it just gives me this dream scenario where I pretend like I have money. In this case, I have a balance of $404,000 in this game. Uh, this is called House Flipper. I haven't played in a while. Um, it's definitely been even longer since I've ever recorded anything to be uploaded. But uh, I've updated my dwelling here, which is just my little office. It's a very small place. There's no oven. I took out the oven because I felt that was better that I could just get an indu induction cooktop. Oh, the one thing I didn't have was a fridge. That's the thing I wanted to fix, was I needed a fridge. Oh, uh, I need a fridge. How do I put a fridge in here? That is a, that's a good question. <laughs> Uh, how do I put a fridge in here? Hmm. Okay, I have an idea. This is going to be really weird, but I feel like I need to get a fridge. So what I'm going to do is, this is my yard. I have this little tiny little place, but you know what? I got a pool. <laughs> I got a pool, and I have an outdoor theater. <laughs> When you want to watch the movie. I wonder. I could put like an outdoor kitchen thing going on in here. Like in the back of the house. Or something. I need to have one. Because I got all this stuff going here. Ugh. I was going to do something else. I want to do multiple things. Because I want to get multiple things taken care of. Because I don't want my channel to be all Funko Pop unboxing. So... Let's do this. How do I... Outdoor. I need uh, surfaces. I need uh, paving slabs. I just want a block of... Composite decking? Nope, I want stone. S -s concrete paving slab. I want a fairly good sized piece that will work. Or we can do paving stone and herringbone. Yeah. Let's do it. It's very dark. Oh, I can't do it here. Oh, no! Okay. Oh, that's a problem. I need a very specific size then. Oh no! Okay, not a problem. This is what I'm gonna do. We have this concrete slab. This is even is even more basic. All right. Uh, let's see. I don't want it to be too far away from the front door. Honestly, so. We're going to put this little surface. <laughs> I have this little patch of grass here. That makes things so much better. I have to apologize. I'm on the laptop, which means I'm using a touchpad. And the problem with that is it's really, really hard. Right now it's hard to see anything because I feel like I overlapped this. So that doesn't work out very well, but we're going to leave it like that. I don't care. Is there such thing as an outdoor fridge? <laughs> Can I get it? Can I put a fridge outside? Uh, I probably have to do something like... Um, I don't, it might not have anything like that. Get a scarecrow. Hundred bucks for a scarecrow. We have grills and fire pits. There's a pizza stove. Get it. 
Nah. Maybe just a regular grill? Let's get a regular grill. A regular grill is good. That's gonna go... Hmm. It is very dark. Can I change the, um... Can I change the daylight stuff? I don't feel like it. Okay, um... Can I go back to the slab? Interesting. I think that overlapped. That's not how you want it. But I, I can't see. It's too dark. Good enough. Alright. I don't think I can put a fridge outside. That's weird. It will let me put one outside. <laughs> well, that's how I'm going to do it. So you got a fridge. You just got to walk outside to get it. We just put it right there in the grass. <laughs> okay. I got a fridge. I feel good about that. Let's hope it doesn't rain. Oh, this is annoying. Okay. Slow down. Okay. Now, what I need to do, I went ahead and I had bought a helm in order to flip. And this is called Unsatisfying Effect. I am going to go to this house and we are going to see if we can fix this house. The whole purpose of House Flipper is to flip houses. Um, so it's a very simple concept. I'm going to try to see if I can do this relatively quick. <sighs> I do have a lot of mowing to do. Oy. Now, I can look um, in the past. The family, the family Johnson has not bought a home. Uh, he's not bought a home. He's bought, like, three of my homes. He's bought a home, which took a while for me to get. I think he was the one that wanted, like, a thousand closets or something. Uh, he's never bought a home. He's never bought a home. Uh, the old couple bought one home. 
Uh, he bought a home. He bought three homes. I've sold some homes on here. The Smith family, they bought two homes. Veronica Lupton, no home. And these people aren't going to buy a home unless I do one of those... Uh, you get one of the ones that had the underground bunker. They have to have the underground bunker before they'll buy one. So that would be the next one that I'll try to do. Because I, I, I want to get that moon base, and now there's another one I want to get. Um, which I'll show later if I remember. But in order to get... I want... I want other people to buy one like this one he wants to buy one to buy houses for rent so it, you got to have two bathrooms and and it's it's a house to rent for two people so you gotta have at least two bedrooms um and that seems relatively easy here's the thing about this place you walk in you got a hall you know the thing about halls they have a lot of doors <laughs> so you gotta look in this one let's look at the first one on the right the first one on the right we have this little weird Thing. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and dispose of some trash, and this is just as easy as doing that. And then we open this up, and then we get the cleaning thing, and then we go scrub, 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 scrub. Now I've already played this game enough. I got like all the upgrades that I know of, unless they've changed anything. There was a recent upgrade, but I believe I have everything updated. Cleaning, everything's faster than it was. Um, Painting is all unlocked. Handyman's all unlocked. Demolition's all unlocked. Building is all unlocked. Negotiation is all unlocked. And even Gardener is all unlocked. So I've gotten all of this stuff done. So, uh... I'm good. <laughs> I, I can... I am, I am basically moving as fast as I will be able to move in this game. There's no other... There's nothing else. <laughs> it's all good. Alright, and then the other thing you have to do is you have to sometimes clean the window. So this one you gotta do individually separate. So this is, I'm gonna go all the way in this corner. And I'm gonna go all the way across and try to get this like so. It's a very boring part of the game, but I honestly think that House Flipper is actually fairly satisfying. And it gives me, like I said, this... this I don't have a lot of money, so it's nice to just sort of play a game where I can do something like this. Because it honestly would be nice to do something like this in real life. Not necessarily the flip homes, just being able to buy one. <laughs> um, honestly, I'm going to sell this. We're going to make that go away. Don't want it. Oh, they didn't like that. No. Oh. See, if you look on the side, you can see, like, uh, the potential buyers... Now, I can already forget about the Johnson family, because they need, like, a really big house. But every time I do something, like I pick up the trash, you see all these green arrows go up. There is still some trash to remove. The renters will notice even the smallest amount of trash. So we, we clean up. We clean up. They like it when you clean up. Um, I don't see dirt, but I do see a window that needs to be cleaned. I'm going to try to go through these... Obviously, this is a bedroom. That other thing, it could be a bathroom, but it seems kind of small. And honestly, I'm not even sure if I want this to be a bedroom. I am talking complete reconfiguration. And the reason why is once you see the way the rest of this house looks, it just screams some things need to be changed. This gets this cleaned up. Wow, that's weird. I did that and for some reason I got a bunch of green arrows. Why did I get green arrows? Oh, red arrows. That was weird. Okay, let's go in here. There's some trash around here somewhere. Okay, got all that trash. Not trash dirt. Alright. So we have a bedroom and some little weird... could be a bathroom because, I mean, it's tiled like one. I mean, you could do that. You could have a shower here. Oh, I didn't get all the dirt. You could have a shower here. And... Or you could put the throne. The toilet throne. You could have, like, a half bath. A toilet throne and then 
have a, a, a vanity here because there's where the outlet is. Although those can easily be moved. <laughs> um, so that's, that's what happens first. And then you have a door. And what do you see in the door? Hey, there's more doors. What is this place? There's more doors. What? Who designed this place? So you know what this means. This means I don't even think I'm going to bother cleaning up because to be honest, we're going to knock some walls down. We're going to knock this freaking wall down. We're going to knock this wall down. And honestly, okay, I see this room here. This is a bathroom. But you know what I'm going to do? It's connected to this here. So that means this wall is coming down. And this wall is coming down. Because we're going to have this be an open living space. That's what I'm going to do with that. Because that's just, that's just stupid. And here we have a bedroom. And then, let's open these doors. I want to do all the doors. Because this is weird. We open this up, and it's literally just a mount for a toilet. Okay, so you just have a toilet. No sink. So you go to the bathroom, but you can't wash your hands. You want a sink? Well, let's see what's in here. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, there's a sink and a tub. No toilet. So, honestly, this here will probably stay a bathroom. This... I don't even know. What is this connected to? Is that connected to this weird thing here? It's connected... Okay, so this must be the throne. So what we're going to do is we're going to tear that wall down. We tear that wall down. And that will connect to this. Yeah. And then... Uh, but this is going to be the half bath. Possibly. I don't know. What's in here? This is a bedroom. Alright, so this is how you're going to do it. This is a simplistic thing. we got to have a master. So if we make that the master bedroom, then what we do is where we have this bathroom, we get rid of this door. And instead we have an opening here. Maybe instead we tear this down so that we have one big glorious bathroom and then this room will be the, the half bath yeah that's kind of big for a half bath I might still be able to tear this down hold on this is just so weird I'm, I'm telling you it's so weird I'm going to do something because this door is driving me crazy. Bye-bye door. I'm getting rid of that door. It's driving me crazy. So, I don't know. I feel like I just tear everything down. <laughs> Alright, let's try to clean this bedroom up. We have this bedroom, obviously. We clean this up. Clean that up. Alright, we get this here. We clean this up. Get all that dirt off. Get all that dirt. Get it all off. Get all that grime off. I wish this would clean the windows. It's just so weird the windows get cleaned separate. It's so strange. That lighting is going to be changed. Clean the windows. Alright. This is honestly a very small place. So I think I'm going to put this as the focus would be to rent out. Two person. Allow for two people to rent it. Gotta have two bathrooms. Alright. Oh, is there another window? Yes, there's another window. Two windows in this bedroom. Alright. There we go. Alright, hopefully I can be heard well. Now, the other thing is, is this flooring? Bad flooring. We're going to want the same flooring throughout. Alright, so let's go in here. This is the living space. So, you have this living room thing, and then you have this here. This makes me think that really there's supposed to be a kitchen here. 
So, probably have the fridge... Oh! Probably have a fridge and a stove. Because then you have this dining area. And then in here, for some reason, there's this sliding door into this space. Which is, looks like a little office space. But I think, obviously, the best way to do this would be to, yes, tear the wall down. Okay, let's get rid of some stuff. Let's go bye-bye. Anything that I can make money on. Because I, I, anything I can sell, we're going we're gonna to sell it. We're going to get rid of this, we're going to get rid of this, we're going to get rid of this. Uh, we're going to get rid of this. We're probably going to start seeing some people be upset. Some of my books should fit here. Oh no! Alright, let's get rid of this trash. Okay, let's get rid of this trash. Alright, so. And we're going to sell this. We're going to get all new. We're going we're to sell this stuff. Don't worry, I'm sure it gets cleaned. Alright. So right now I'm selling things and, and they're not happy about it because it's like, Oh no, you should have a kitchen. You should have a living room. What are you doing? And it's like, well, I'm going to replace it. Alright, I'm going to start breaking some walls down. Let's break some walls down. Yeah! Bye bye wall! So, cathartic. Work sucks, by the way. Yeah, I hate work. I hate work! Retail sucks! I hate it! <laughs> it's not me really smashing it, but it's still cathartic all the same. Uh, yeah. We get rid of that. This space is far more opened because I think the kitchen should go here. Or the dining space. Oh, crap! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, actually. <laughs> Did I? Hold on. What happens if I do that? Oh no. I made a peekaboo. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, let's get rid of it. Bye. Die. Am I taking it to the extremes? Maybe. It's just so claustrophobic in here. Now, in reality, you probably would have to put, like, a beam structure. So, I'm going to take care of that and make this look like something's been properly done. And I'm going to do a little uh, wall piece that will go over there. Okay, if I can get all this up, this would be great. Now, hmm... <clears throat> Hold on. We gotta sell this. I don't know why they would have a slide door inside like that. That's just so weird. Clean that. Okay. Now, you have these connections here. You definitely put your living room here. Ugh. But I think some wall... I think this wall should be... Because you have this light... So we'll probably keep this wall, and we'll keep that there. Because that's what I'm going to do throughout. Not throughout, but all across. But i got to get rid of this. Oh no, the renter's room knows even the smallest amount of trash. I will show you why it does that. Even though most of the demolition stuff cleans up on its own. When it comes up with that, it's because there was an outlet there. And you can see right there, there's an outlet. You get this. Go away. Go away. Uh, go. There you go. So you have this outlet. You have this little singular out. So we're going to dispose of that. And yeah, that's clean. See? Look, green arrows. Okay, make sure this is done. 
All right, now, to build, we build this. And I'm gonna do that. Oh, I gotta hold it down. Nope, nope, not there. Right here. That. Right there. Right there. And this gives you some separation. You yeah, have some separation. Especially since the way this game works. Um, you kind of need to have this. Otherwise, it won't be able to distinguish rooms. Alright, what is... Okay, so I can get rid of this wall. Okay. Oh, I hit the wrong thing. Woohoo! It looked like a hammer. Yeah, we can get rid of this wall. All the way. So. And dispose of trash. Yeah, I could just use this the entire time. And clean. Do I leave this old looking bookcase? It has so much character after all. <laughs> By the way, character means dirt old. <laughs> As long as it's sturdy, it's fine. Okay. Alright. Let's get this. I have a lot of things that I want to be able to do today. and I'm going to get this game done and have something different. Uploaded. This is so weird. Okay, I think I'll have a choice but to... Hold on! Get in there! There you go. Right there. I don't have a choice but to put one here. There you go. Because that way it looks even. Okay, so. Now we got that fixed. Oh, there's still a little bit of this left over. Okay. Bye. We good? I think it's good. Okay. So, how do I do this? Um. Eh, hey, get rid of that. Uh. There are gonna be a lot of red arrow points down because I'm essentially getting rid of a bathroom. Move those. Remove that. I can sell the window and put new windows in. Nah, I'm not gonna do that.
Wait, what is this? <gasps> There's an enclosed space! Look at the map! Open this wall up! There's an enclosed space in here. It's completely closed in. <gasps> what is this? If you look at the map, you can always see the map and then... Look at that. Oh, what's in the... What's in the box? What's in the box? Nothing. There's nothing in the box. There's a... There's nothing at all. <laughs> How much for the painting? Oh, look at that. $2,804 sold. No pictures? Not $2,000 pictures. Look at this. So you know what this means? I have more space to work with. This is beautiful. Because now... I can... Because I was trying to be careful with this wall because I thought this was to the outside. But it's not. So I can just bring this in. Instead of this weird thing here, we just put a wall. I can just put a regular wall. Take this off. I can just put a regular wall. See, that's another thing you gotta look at. If you ever play House Flipper, pay attention to the map in the top right, and you might see an enclosed space, and you can tear a wall down and you can find some goodies. I've done that in another home that had, like, it was one that was, like, I forget how much it was. Tens of thousands, though. So it was a really nice, pricey one. And it's like, that's not something that you're gonna have with the house? No! No, 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 no. I'm going to get rid of this. <laughs> they really don't like it when I do that. Give it time. I am trying to get the outline figured out. Now I can just tear all this down. And now this bedroom will have a bigger closet. Can this fit, like... How tall is this? It's too tall. Well, what space is this for? I got an idea. doesn't work. I am so confused right now. Oh, there we go. It's a tight fit. <laughs> I can go do that one. It's too, uh, it's being a pain right now. Oh, come on. What is wrong with this thing? I 
I just want a mirror. How about this one? This one's shorter. There we go. There you go. You gotta have a mirror in here. Pretty fairly big mirror. <sighs> now the safe, I'm gonna do something different with it. Stick it in the middle of the floor right now. We're gonna find some kind of small cabinet that can go in here. Very small cabinet. Bedside cabinet, dressing table. Well, here's a small one. But that's not going to do what I want it to do. I just want a table. But it's got to be able to fit the thing on top. So if you get this, make it black. Oh, the safe's not going to fill on top of that. Can this go on top of the safe? No. And the safe can't go on top of this. I don't know, maybe it can. Oh, it can. I'm pretty sure the safe would be too heavy for it, but we're going to do it anyway. There you go. That's done. That's weird. This one's the right color. That one was red. That's new. It didn't used to do that. The blinds pretty much just sat there. That's nice. That's kind of cool. Okay. So we're going to change these lights because these lights kind of suck. That's not even. Ah, it's hard to even these. I wish they would do like a, like maybe have a grid and there can be a snap to grid, like maybe something that automatically snaps in the center. Because sometimes you just want to put it in the center of a defined room, which I don't actually have this room defined yet. There's a brighter light. Oh, is this a brighter white? Let's see what this is. I don't know, it just says crystal. I've never seen that before. Looks like it'd be brighter. And then it's like, no, it's not. Yeah, I should do. Black on the wall. Just on this wall. So I can just like take this and just move it out into the hall. 
I could probably use it for something else. So we just have the back wall. So if you think of someone who's in an office setup, they're doing a Zoom call. You want this background to be good, you know? You want it to be better. I can change the floors. I honestly want the same floors throughout, but I'm going to just do the floors in here for now. Because I kind of want to finish up on this. And probably do some of this later and then come back and stitch together. Okay. I finished the rest and then I'll just show what I did because um, this is just so time consuming and this is just going to be so much video to go over. Uh, we're going to do this because we want something lighter, I think. No, I do need doors. I need a door. What door do I want? What should a regular interior door look like? Where are the cheaper ones? I'm feeling cheap. <laughs> hurts. <laughs> yeah, I have to finish the wall. Look at that! The turkey! That's also from Friends. There's some Friends elements that have been added to this. There's the dog. The Ramore dog. Ramore. <laughs> That's the, the dog from Joey and Chandler when Joey bought that uh, porcelain dog. That's funny. How big is this? Can I go on the shelf?
This room's done. Alright, I'm gonna readjust. I've been on this for way, 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 way too long. So I'm going to cut here and finish. Okay, I hope this sound is okay. Alright. Okay, back to this house here. This is what I've been working on. To, you know get stuff done I got the I think I got the mo the lawn mode on camera I don't remember but some of the things that I did I did cut a tree down um, I extended the back deck area and put in this uh, seating arrangement I tried updating I think I updated all the windows I hope I updated them all so that they're all the same kind of window <laughs> except for where the bathrooms are but well, here's the kitchen. We got the kitchen all fixed up. We have a lot of shelving. This is the fridge. You got the dishwasher over here. Far away from the sink. Don't ask why. <laughs> I felt that the dishwasher... Okay, I'll explain. I felt the dishwasher should be closer to where the cabinets are. Because then I realized when I put these here, you would take your... I'm putting some thought into a fictional game. You take your dishes out and then have to walk all the way across. So I figured, yeah, more likely you can just put your dirty dishes right into the dishwasher anyway, and then put them up in all this nice cabin tree. Got the hood, which of course doesn't extend up, which is kind of annoying. Um, I also wish that there was a better way of doing tiling so that maybe you can do like a, a border and not have it go all the way up necessarily. Because I usually just want this to be a backsplash. And there needs to be better options for when it comes to having an actual stove uh, oven combo because there's a gap. It doesn't fit perfectly, and you can get you can get counter that has the the oven, but it doesn't have the stove top. And then you so you'd have to get like a separate stove top thing. And we have a dining area now. I put this here to separate the living room from the kitchen dining but uh, I use this weird chandelier thing we have a long table that's pretty much it I added a little wall clock there and then here we have now the way this game is set up whenever I go into an actual room uh, the lights will come on if I left them on we had a big TV couch coffee table. You got this interesting bookshelf thing. I try to keep the wood tones, like the wood that is used for the furniture, as same as possible. Now the kitchen cabinets are a light oak, but mostly everything else I try to do cedar. But sometimes cedar wasn't an option. Okay. Now I'm going to walk over to the front door. Because I really should do this from the thing. Okay, so I add all these little solar lights on the walkway. Alright. Okie doke. You go to the left, you have your little office space. Yay, office. We got the bookshelf. This cabinet thing. I think this was something that I added in later after. And then you got this big wall art. And then you have the desk. And then you have a window. Which I didn't put blinds on this window. Should I put blinds on this window? I guess I should put blinds on this window. So doing this walkthrough, I will be going through to fix some things um, as I go. But most, mostly, this is a um, go over what it is I did. Because now I've got 11 hours in this game. And I think when I stopped the camera, I was like at 3 hours. So I spent some additional time on this. It, t it is really time consuming doing this. <laughs> and a lot of it was because I was trying to reconfigure things. And knocking down walls and adding new walls. Because one of the things I realized that I forgot. Is I forgot a place for a washer and dryer. So 
what we have is we have that hall. Okay, you have the little area for putting things. I put some artwork up. I put it this here because some of the people like they like artwork and, and plants around. Okay, so in order to do this, I had to redo some of the way I did the, this was part of the other bathroom and I had to extend out a little bit into the hall, but we have a washer and dryer and, and that's it. That's all. That's just nothing fancy about that at all. And then you have one of the bedrooms. Simple, got a wardrobe there with some chest of drawers and there's a radiator and you got a bed and then here your own private bathroom which is a little smaller than the other bathroom that I did work on. Uh, this is a mirror that looks weirdly shaped but that's just to go around that window that I put there. Um, tiling is just weird but I there's not a lot of tiling options. I, I think it would be nice if they can get some additional tiling options. I think they focus a lot more on furniture. Okay, let's go to the right. To the right. And, oh wait, no, I gotta go in this door. Ah! And then of course here is the half bath so that guests will be able to, you know, go to the bathroom. I did change the tiling in here. I had something different, I think. Did I? I don't remember now. I think I had something that was like weird. I don't know. I can't remember what I had. All right, now let's go in here, and we have, I reconfigured this, because when I did this, I was like, oh, bedroom is really small, and then the bathroom, which is in here, I tried to make the bathroom doors the same. The bathroom was, like, it's 10 meters square, and the bedroom was 12 meters square, and I'm like, that's just weird, so now the bedroom is 16 meters square, so I brought in... I forget how I did it. I did it a different way. And it's also because I needed a way to have a blank wall so that there would be a spot for the TV. Otherwise, it was going to be off to the side here or something. Um, so I moved where the door was to the closet because the closet door was right here. I moved the closet in and I moved this part out. So this opening here was a little bigger. It, it was probably about the same width as this opening. But I, I brought this up a little bit so that I could have this like little entryway and then you would walk. The door would lead you to the closet. So I put these hooks here. I put the shelf here. You got the mirror. You only have one wardrobe thing. But I got a lot of shelves and I put some drawers in here. And that wallpaper make it a little interesting. I used a different color uh, wall paint, make it a little blue tone. Um, I added more tiling to this side, but not above this window, which looks weird, but there could be a possible way of getting the tiles to work right, because if you have a window, you use tile under, and then you use a whole other set above, but if you didn't have a window, it would just be one, you know, straight down. I, I, it's kind of hard for me to explain it on this. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is, this is, this is basically, this is done. I feel like this is sellable. And you have everything there. You even have a little, you have trash cans in both the bathrooms. Each bedroom has a bathroom. There's two bedrooms. Whether or not this rental guy, one of the things I looked at was he doesn't like any expensive furnishings. And I probably put some things that were a little on the pricey side. Particularly that TV. <laughs> I mean, it was a $700 TV. Actually, it was more than that. It was 900 and something. So, uh, I probably could sell the TV and not have the TV. Because the TV doesn't come with the, with the house. <laughs> But we're going to go through, we're going to go ahead and sell this, and uh, how do I sell this again? Oh, I got to go in the other menu. I got to go in, uh, yeah, go back, go back. I got to go in this menu. Sell the house. So we sell the house, we're going to put it up, put house on auction. 
I didn't do a lot of any other stuff. All right, I bought the house for one hundred fourteen thousand. Um, there are eleven rooms. I spent eleven hours, twenty-five minutes, and fifty-four seconds. Uh, it doesn't say how much I put into it though. That's weird. Let's go ahead and put it on auction. Let's see. A lot of them only want one bedroom. I only want one bathroom. I like to have a sauna in my home. There are too many rooms. I wanted one bedroom, not two. There are loads of Norwegian here. I didn't tell you I wanted a sauna. So the small family, they, they came in a little higher. Alright, so we can uh, hit space to accept offer. Even though there's, it wasn't, it didn't check off all the boxes, but they were willing to spend 170000 Okay. Must wait for this game to get back to my, alright, now I have 559000 Okay. Alright, so I got that done with that. Now, here are some of the homes that are new since the last time I did it. There's this alleyway of lights, which seems to be more like a, I guess, like a cyberpunk type thing. There's this room 404, which I don't know if it's a reference to something. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh... There is one thing I do know. Uh, there's this here. This is Joey and Chandler's apartment from Friends. You got the dog. You have the two bedrooms. You got the pizza boxes. You got the yellow chair. You got the Barker loungers. Now they do have like this TV that's not accurate, but yeah, you, you have the. There's the kitchen. There's the. Look at that. There. Okay, they have the layout of the clothes. Um. And then there is this one, which of course is Monica's apartment. And you get the bedrooms, which we know were pink, and you had the purple walls. And because they had that bookcase, which I guess is why that bookcase was there, you have that exact arm that Ben hit his head on. So yeah, you, 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 they got some friend stuff. Oh, sorry. Uh, you got a hacker loft, which again is in our cyber thing. Which, you can tell by this icon, it's got like a computer chip icon, which goes cyber. Now, these here houses that have like this, um, like a warning light, caution, danger icon, those are the ones that have the bunkers. So if I did one of these real quick with a bunker, then I can get a home sold to one of those people that want the bunker. There's this modern looking very like all this is like glass type modern looking home the snow uh now this says alone home because it can't say home alone but this is supposed to represent the home alone house but you have the house on the moon which is four hundred eighty two thousand dollars which i technically could go ahead and get but it would i have 559 so it'd be the whole thing so i still kind of want to build up until i get to that but now there's a castle there's a castle Look at that! They got a castle now! Huh. So, but this is House Flipper. 